Thank you for joining us. This video is going to show you how to make a silk knotted necklace using French wire. First, I recommend cutting your French wire. Use Cut both pieces at the beginning so that you can measure them exactly. The French wire that I'm using is the 0.9 millimeter. We sell it in one meter packs. I'm using size six silk thread and I'm gonna tie a knot at the end of it, about two inches, and then I will string my first bead on. The Griffin silk cord is great in that it comes with a needle already on it. I'll pull my bead all the way down to the knot and then I'll string on that little piece of French wire that I already cut. The French wire acts as a wire guard, protecting the silk from the tension of the clasp or closure. We'll now string on our swivel clasp and then we want to make sure to go back through that first bead. Our French rail will become curved as that loop begins to make, be smaller. Take care in that you do not see any silk at the end of the necklace. Then we're gonna tie a knot over our first two fingers of our non-dominant hand and we wanna make sure to get it around our first knot that we tied before the beads were on it. Now we'll string on one of our pearl beads. And the reason I used a gold hematite bead at the end was because the hole is bigger and it's easier to get silk thread through it two times. I'm gonna tie a knot around my first two fingers and then I'm gonna put it on to the beetle-on knotting tool. I wanna tighten it against the awl, but I don't wanna pull it too tight until I get it all the way up against the pearl. Then I will go in the yoke of the tool and push up. Now I'm ready for my next bead. I'll thread it on, pull it down against the rest of my necklace, and make a knot over my first two fingers. Again, I'll put it on the pointed part of the knotting tool, tighten it, but not all the way until I get close to the pearls. Then I'll go in the Y and push up. This technique is sometimes hard to master. Don't worry if you don't like your first creation. You can always cut it up and try again. So we'll just continue in this matter until we get the desired length of our necklace. Oh, look! I've gotten to the right length and I'm gonna knot just my last couple of pearls the same way that I knotted the beginning. And you would pick your silk size based on the whole size of your pearls or your other beads. So you would use a smaller thread if your beads had a smaller hole or a larger thread if your beads had a larger hole. On the very end, you don't wanna put a knot between your last two beads because we're gonna go back through the gold one and then we'll tie the knot between the last two beads. So we're gonna string on our French wire. We also sell the French wire in silver as well. It's Beetle on brand too. So we want to string all the way down and put our clasp on and go back through the gold hematite ball. On this necklace, I did like to use two swivel clasps because I can always add an extender or for current times, I can use it as a mask chain as well. Now I'm going to tie my knot around the bead and the cord itself 
and not in between those last two beads. Sometimes this one can be tricky. Now we'll put a little dab of super new glue on each knot. We'll go back and do that first one as well. And then once our glue dries, we will cut off the end of the silk. The super new glue can change the color of your silk thread. If you do not want it to change the color, you may choose to squirt some onto a baggie and use a piece of wire to put it on. But there you have it. Thank you for watching. Happy beading. <laughs>